Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is a vintage haul. Now, um, as I've been saying in my previous videos, I've been buying quite a lot of stuff. Um, and what I'll probably do with these haul videos is space them out. It'll probably give me some content in the bank for when I'm moving so that I've still got stuff to upload when I'm probably a bit too busy to be making videos. So I'm not actually entirely sure when you're going to see this video, um, but it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, it's a vintage haul. Um, we'll see how long it is. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vintage parcels, and one of them has 15 items in. So yeah, might be here for a while. Um, but I will quickly show you what they look like and then we'll get cracking. So here we are. All of these parcels, that is the one with the 15 items. So yeah, we've got a lot to get through. So as I tend to say in vintage hauls, it's difficult for me to remember prices and I'm filming on my phone, so I might not be able to remember them. On top of that, um, I tend to get bundle discounts on everything that I order because that's what I look out for in Vinted to make the cost cheaper. So that's difficult to work out prices based on that because then on top of that, you have to pay your buyer's fee and your postage. So yeah, it's all a bit all over the place. Um, but we'll start with the first bundle. This was all from the same seller and I don't can't remember how much any of it was, but I would not have paid any more than a fiver for this item. So the first item is a Ted Baker um, quarter zip jumper. It's Ted size three, which is um, medium, I believe. And it's in really good condition, just a charcoal gray um, jumper. And it is a wool blend, but it's mainly polyester. Um, and it has a nice little logo on the bottom of it there. The second item is a Ted Baker shirt. This is Ted size four, so that's a size large. This was probably three or four pounds, and it is just this reddish checked colour. You can see the label in there. Excuse my nails, they are very grown out. I've still got a week until I'm getting them done, so we're just having to make do. Um, another Ted Baker shirt, again size 4, so a large, and it is just this blue speckledy dotty pattern. There's the label. And the last item in this bundle is a North Face shirt. This is a size small, and it is this grey check pattern. It's really lightweight, it's a really good summer shirt. Um, it's a good walking shirt. I think it's more North Face for its purpose rather than its style in terms of, I don't reckon whoever bought it um, got it to be fashionable. They got it because they wanted a nice lightweight outdoor shirt. So onto the second bundle. So I remember paying about 20 quid for this bundle in total. Um, the first thing is a Nike tracksuit set or um, sweat set, sweat like sweatpants and a um, sweatshirt. So it's in this burnt orange colour with this Diamante um, logo on it. Um, really nice for the autumn months, you know, it's a very autumnal colour. And it's a size XL or 1x as they call it. Um, I'm gonna have to give that a good measure because that does seem, even for an XL, very large. And obviously with it comes the sweatshirt. So it's quite, it's not quite cropped, but it is short, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose that was almost a cropped length. Depends how tall you are. And again, it's 1XL, and that's a funky, um, tick on the really nice condition there's no wash wear to it which often you get with that kind of material then we have a fat face sweatshirt this is a uk 14 
So this really nice, a similar colour to be fair, but more red toned um, to that sweat, sweat set. That's so wrong. What am I saying? Loungewear set? I don't know. Let's move on. Um, and it says endless summer on it. I wish. We all know how this summer's been so far. Um, and yeah, and then it says hello sunshine. So quite sweet, fat face. Um, fat face sells well for me, especially in um, the not bigger sizes. Like bigger sizes do sell. That's not a big size. That's a fourteen. That's a pretty standard size. Um, I'd say anything under a twelve uh, tends to stick around for me. But yeah, that's a really nice autumn piece. Another bit of fat face um, size eighteen. It says, and it's just this blue t-shirt. And this was only a pound or two, but that was before the discount. Um, and on the back, it's got this map of Great Britain um, with different names on it and different bits of, you know, uh, illustration, which is really pretty. And then the last thing in this bundle is a jacket. It's um, just like a thin weatherproof jacket. It's got a hood. And again, it's fat face, um, size 16. So yeah, just a nice khaki colour, perfect for moving through into autumn, lightweight, um, but yeah, or if you're caught in the rain. Curly bundle, and they've really nicely wrapped it in tissue, put a little thank you sticker on it, which I always appreciate. It's nice when someone takes the effort to do that. Um, so the first thing is this Jules jumper, it's this yellow colour with a dachshund on it that wraps around the back. Really, really nice jumper. Um, it's a UK 12, and I'm pretty sure they're in jewels, it'll just be cotton. Uh, let's have a look. The style is called Miranda. Uh, cotton, polyamide, and viscose. And it just has the jewels logo on the back of the neck there, but that's in perfect condition. And again, for autumn, I think that'll sell well. Then, what's this here? This is a mint velvet top, long sleeved, jersey material, nice and slinky. Um, and it's this almost kind of leopard print in a sparkly, glittery material. Is it a leopard print? Is it, um, a, you know, like a dandelion when it goes all, you know, when you blow it to tell what time it is? Oh my God, I'm making no sense, am I? I have not been sleeping too good recently, so I think it's showing. <laughs> um, then another mint velvet top, if I can figure out how it works. <laughs> That's supposed to be... Is it just inside out? Or no, it goes like that. Okay, here we are. Oh, so it's got a tie front. And it's sleeveless, it's just a leopard print little top. Um, probably saved this for spring and it is a size 14, if you can see that. Yeah, Mint Balba, like, I don't love the brand because they use cheap materials, but there is certainly a following for it, isn't there? So it's worth picking up at the right price at least. Then we have a Jules dress. This is a navy dress. It's just a jersey material, um, sort of three quarter sleeve, um, midi length dress, I don't know. Yeah, midi length. Um, and that is a 12 as well, and it's got this brown leopard spot on it. And all these items are in really good condition. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised given that they wrapped everything in tissue, they clearly look after their clothes. And the last thing is just this Bowden top, which will probably stick around, being honest, but it's new label Bowden. Um, it's also a size 14. It's this beigey colour, and I'm sure this is 100% cotton. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. So we'll see about that. That, again, we'll wait for spring to put that on. Um, I'm repeating myself here, but I have so much stock and with moving down to London that I'm going to take my autumn winter stuff down with me and leave spring summer stuff here. So, next bundle, just making a big pile of rubbish behind me. Um, 
we have a Tommy Hilfiger long sleeve top. It's quite heavyweight jersey, is this? It's a size large, um, good for autumn. It's got a nice little logo on the chest and the colours around the collar. The second item is a vintage champion flannel shirt in this nice colourway of blue, green, red and beige. You can see the champion label there, the old champion label. Um, so yeah, little vintage piece there that I'm sure someone will snap up. Don't know how much I'll get for it. it might just be 15 quid, but that's fine because I think that's about two pounds. The last thing in this bundle is a little bit bobbled, but it's in otherwise good condition. And it's a Timberland jumper in this burgundy colour. It's a size XL, men's XL. There you are. And feels like wool. It's only 25% wool actually, um, but yeah, these are blooming good de-bobble does that. Um, but that bundle came to less than £10, so I can't complain. Next one. Oh, it's another tissue wrapped one, which is nice. I'm going to get them with a little thank you label on it. So the first thing is this Pure Collection jersey dress. Um, it's this sort of straight up and down, um, what do they call it? It's not, I always end up calling it a sheath dress and it's just not. Um, shift dress, there we go, it's a shift dress, sleeveless, um, in this nice tealy blue colour with a pattern going on. Again, good for spring next year, it's only a 10. Um, and probably get about 15 quid for it, but was cheap enough. Then I got this really pretty bottle green Hobbs dress um, in this floral pattern. It's kind of got branches on it with flowers on. Um, nice collared shirt style dress. And this is an eight. So it is a small size, but I just love the pattern of it. And um, I'll probably get that listed pretty quickly. To say it's an eight, it's definitely oversized. Um, and that feels very much like man-made materials, which for Hobbs isn't surprising because a lot of their stuff is nowadays. Then we have a Hush shirt. This was the reason I bought this bundle, actually. I thought this was really lovely. It's just a white long-sleeved shirt with pink stars all over it really pretty dainty and it's a size 10 hush labels do annoy me because they always get crumpled up um but there you go and this doesn't feel that cottony to be fair no it's viscose unsurprising again hush like min velvet you know there's a following for it and they make nice looking clothes but they always use cheap materials and then the last thing is this white company sort of chambray denim sh uh, shift dress. Almost a chief again, Jack, come on. Again, a 10, but it's in immaculate condition. White company does sometimes stick around for me, it takes a while to sell. Um, again, this will wait for next year to go on, um, but it's got a nice neckline to it and it's a very classic style dress. So hopefully someone will want that. Next we have quite a big one. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so the first item is this denim jacket, but it's um, Borg lined, you know, that fake sheepskin. This will be really warm. I've got an All Saints jacket really similar to this, but in like a white denim, and it is so toasty. It's in perfect condition. I've, no, I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Blakely. Um, it's a size small. But I would say that must be a men's small, because if that was a women's um, jacket, that would probably fit a 14. So yeah, perfect condition. I think that's about a fiver, which I think is a really good price for that. Um, so I have to do my research on that. 
Then we have a Reese shirt. This is new with tags. It's a denim shirt. It's a size small, regular fit. Um, but yeah, just a classic. Very similar to the um, white company dress that I showed you in the last bundle. So that chambray denim material. There you go, you can see the Reese tag there. And then the label in the top. Um, Reese does well for me. And with it being new with tags, I think that will sell relatively quickly. Then we have a polo top. This is All Saints. And it's this sort of blue marl um, effect with the white stripes going through it. And it's a size small. Um, so obviously by the same guy who had the Reese shirt that he never wore. Um, you might have seen in my previous vintage haul, I got a load of All Saints polo tops. So it'll be really easy to do a sell similar on one of those listings for that polo top. Then we have a high neck jumper. This is also by Reese. Um, really lovely condition, it's not bobbled. It's in a greyish blue. Um, well, it's more grey than it is blue, but it does have blue tones to it. You can see the Reese label there. Um, yeah, mint condition, which is great. This is the coal jumper. And if I can get the materials, it's 50% acrylic, but 50% wool. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, I keep saying it, but good for autumn. And that's what we're approaching. So that is good. And I'm going to make, I'm going to sort all my stock out and bag up stuff that's priority for autumn. And then also take up all my winter stuff as well that can follow on. And then just the Ted Baker t-shirt. This is in immaculate condition. It doesn't even feel like it's being washed. Um, so it might be new without tags. It's Ted size two, so it's a small, which, you know, isn't the best. But even if that's 12 to 15 quid, that's fine. And again, this will wait for next year. Um, it's in great condition. And um I just sort of added it in to get the bundle discount. If you've not used Vinted, it's quite common. Um, well, the way that Vinted works is you can set your own di bundle discounts. But usually, um, if you get two items, it's a certain percentage. If you get three items, it goes up a little bit. And if you get five items, it goes up a bit more. Um, so quite often people do like two items 10% off, three items 15% off, five items 25% off, something like that. But yeah, like I say, apologies for not knowing prices, but um, yeah, I just don't. Then a little bundle of Jules jumpers from the same seller. Um, three of them, they're all a size 16. So we've got this nice mustard colored one, very simple. It's just got a little gray double stripe going down the back. Show you the label there. Yeah, just classic mustard yellow jumper. And it has the little Jules bunny on the bottom of it. Um, this is the poppy jumper. And if I can get into the label. It's the same um, breakdown as the Jules jumper that I showed you earlier in the haul. So it's um, cotton, polyamide and viscose. So nothing special, but nice enough. Um, this is a grey one, um, so yeah, grey, and then has the stripes on the back. So it's the same jumper, it's the poppy jumper in a different colour. So this person clearly really liked this jumper because they put it in three different colours. And the last one is in blue. So this is a navy blue one, again, Jules size 16, and has a couple of grey stripes down the back of it. So now we are getting onto the last bundle, which is that big box of 15 jumpers. Um, so this haul might not be quite as long as anticipated, which is good. Now these jumpers were ridiculously cheap. Um, they were between one pound and four pounds each before discount. Um, so we will get through them. I know that some of them have um, small flaws, but for the cost of them, I was willing to give it a go and see what we could do. 
So the first item is a vintage Ralph Lauren cardigan in this lovely blue colour. The label has just, I felt that go, that has just come unstitched from one corner. But it's 84% um, silk, a bit of nylon and a bit of spandex. And it's a size large, so that's probably, um, I'd say 14 looking at that more than a, a 16. Um, I'm going to start piling these up over here actually, because I'm running out of space. The next one, this is a Chaps um, button-up quarter neck jumper. It's 100% cotton in this grey cable knit. So it's a men's jumper. Um, you can see the Chaps logo there. It's a size small, would fit me. But um, yeah, really nice quality jumper. And that doesn't look to have any flaws to it. Some very, very slight bobbling, but not much at all. Then I've seen this brand before, but never picked it up. And it was such a cheap price that I thought I'd give it a go. And it's LL Bean and it's a cotton cashmere blend. You know where brands do the 95% cotton, 5% cashmere. And it's a teal colour and it's a size um, XL as well. So it's a really good size. So you can see the logo there. Like I said, I've never picked it up before, so no idea what these go for, but that's in really nice condition, actually. And then we have another LL Bean. Now this one is 80% lamb's wool, 20% nylon, and it's women's XL in this navy color. Um, I would say this will fit a 16. I need to do my measurements, but yeah. Um, a tiny, tiny bit of bobbling for that, but with it being 80% lamb's wool, that's not really surprising, is it? I think all in all for these jumpers, it came to just around the £50 mark for 15 jumpers, so I'm not complaining. Next is a Tommy Hilfiger cable knit jumper. This again is a Ladies XL. Um, being honest, that's probably just about going to fit a 14 or a 12. Um, like comfortable, I don't know, comfortably 14 to be fair, a little bit oversized on a 12, but it's this really nice stripe pattern on the lower half and then a darker blue on the top half and it's got a little high neck on it, which is nice. Another Tommy Hilfiger jumper, so this is 65% cotton, 22% nylon, and 13% wool. It's a medium, so it looks like a men's jumper to me, if that's a medium, based on the size of it. It's this blue and grey print, uh, striped, blue and grey stripes, and it's got the Tommy Jeans um, logo on the sleeve there, which is nice. Again, it, it, this is in, in, in good condition. i um, not seeing any flaws on that yet, but, um, I will give them all a really thorough check over when I'm actually listing them. Now this jumper, I know, I can see already, I remember this is uh, got marks on it. Uh, this is a Chaps sweater vest and it's a 2XL and it was a pound. And that was before any discount as well. So, you know, less than a pound. So it's worth the risk for me because a 2XL usually goes quite well. It's in this red colour. See the chap's little logo there and the label inside here. Um, it just feels like cotton. I'm sure it is just cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. But um, where have you gone? There. I literally had... Oh, there we go. It's got this mark on it here. I have no... It looks disgustingly almost like it could be chewing gum. But um, I'm going to have a go at getting that off um, for less than one pound. Like I say, to me, that's worth the risk. Um, yeah, it actually has several marks on it. I don't know if you can see all of them. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we'll get some stain remover on it. We'll get it in the wash. I'm going to put that to one side, actually, so that I remember. And let's see what happens. Another Tommy Hilfiger jumper. This is a medium, um, ladies medium. It's this grey and pink and white striped v-neck with the little logo on the chest. There is the label. And I can tell from the feel of this that that is just going to be a cotton jumper. Uh, 
another Tommy Hilfiger jumper. This is also a size medium. So I'd say that's a ladies 10, possibly 12. And again, feels just like cotton, I'm sure it is. And you can see the logo there, the label there, sorry. And the small logo on the chest. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo Jeans Company um, jumper. It's just a grey ribbed jumper with these white stripes around the chest. It's a size XL, men's XL. There's the label there. And that is... Uh, does it say? I can't see what the material is on that. Does it say on here? Oh, it's 100% cotton. Um, yeah, feels like it. Then we have a quarter zip Calvin Klein um, brown ribbed jumper. It's in good condition. A little bit of wash wear, but not much. Um, and that is a Calvin Klein size large. Believe me, it's, that's what it says, why would I lie? This is a Reebok Classics jumper. It's a vintage jumper from, except for the label, it's vintage. And it has got a couple of tiny marks on it. There's one on the back there. So uh, we'll have a good wash with this and see what happens. Um, and that'll just be cotton, pretty sure. And then the last few, we have a quarter zip LL Bean, oh no, full zip LL Bean cable knit um, jumper. So there you go, it's just this grey colour, nice cable knit. And it's a size large, can tell that's 100% cotton um, from the feel of it. So yeah, we'll see how I get on with these LL Bean ones, because I've never had them before. Um, I'm going to save that one till last, because I think that's a really interesting one. Oh, this is the penultimate one anyway. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger jumper, men's size XL, um, blue striped, 100% Pima cotton. There you go. And again, the little logo on the chest, as they all seem to have. So yeah, finally, it's this interesting hooded... Um, poncho in this aztec -y kind of geometric pattern on it, there's the hood and this is vintage um, it's gosh, vintage Ralph Lauren and it's their Lauren Active Range Petite, it is 27% wool 24% viscose 13% cotton and 5% um, Angora Oh, and 31% nylon. <laughs> so a whole host of fabrics, but it's got Angora content. It's got some wool in there. So yeah, we'll see. Um, let me show you the label properly. And it says PM on it, but I think that's just medium. Um, so it's probably a 10 to 12 is that. So yeah, that is the last item. So these will all be coming down, those jumpers will all be coming out to London with me. Um, some good winter stock there at really, really cost effective prices. So I'm happy with that. But I should keep this under half an hour, which I'm happy with because I was worried it would be more than that. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. Um, hope you've enjoyed seeing what I picked up. As I've started saying recently, if there is anything you've seen that you'd be interested in purchasing off me, I'm always happy to do a deal with you. Um, saves me having to list it on eBay. So anyway, I'm going to leave you here before this gets ridiculously long. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day whenever it is that you're watching this, and I'll see you all again soon with another video.